Hey guys, it's Eric here at Farpoint Farms, the mountains of North Carolina. Check this out. I've been wanting to use one of these. We've got the bus project uh, that we're doing in our other channel, Farpoint Restorations and Repairs. If you haven't found that channel yet, go ahead and check it out. But anyway, this is a way of rapidly descaling, de-rusting, de-everythinging metal. We want to bring it back down to bare metal. This is a great tool that is kind of a recent invention. There have been versions of this that have been around for a while, but they have kind of perfected it. I'm going to show you this, and of course I'll leave a link to where you can get it. It is the Burnishing Polishing Machine. That's the official name they've given it, but you'll see what I've got here in a second. I'll pull out the bits and pieces. What it looks like at first is an angle grinder. Uh, that's uh, like a plug-in angle grinder, but it has this longer snout on it. The reason it does is because it actually uses these, these big bruisers right here, which is like a scuff pad, but a whole lot of it. So you, uh, you attach this, and of course I'll set all this up. You put this on with a guard, and you're able to roll back and forth, get into some pretty cool places that you couldn't get into with regular sanding equipment and uh, man you can do all kinds of cool stuff with it so give me just one second i'll set this thing up we'll take a look at it we'll fire it up i've got a rusty ugly looking piece of metal outside and we'll give it a, a spin and see how well it works cool all right so i've got it all laid out here you can see it so we have uh, a handle there's holes on either side for the handle but that would put it out at the angle grinder so what they've done is they've put this little piece here in and they've given us a stud and two nuts so we can do a 90 degree turn on it. And then they've included this cast piece here to let that happen. So we'll go ahead and screw that on. Right, and now, now we have the ability to do it the way we want to do it. So I like that. Kind of a cool solution. Reusing a tool so you can get that tool to the customer cheaper than you would if you had to make a custom built tool. And I'm not sure with the Harbor Freight one, I've, I've looked at them at the store, but I haven't actually uh, laid hands on one to see if they're built the same way. We do have these two keyways. We need to insert those. And of course, that'll be a little bit tricky because of the uh, one's gonna wanna fall out, but I'll just hold those together. You can see our pieces here have slots. So we're gonna slide those over the keyways. Right, that makes sure that she spins with the motor. And then it has this piece here that goes on to hold it in place. And that's just a, you know, a bolt. It did also come with uh, a tool. It's not a very particularly fancy tool, but 17, or does it look like? I think it's seven. Yeah, 17 and 13 are the sizes. So I'll go ahead and install that. So not a lot of setup to this thing. Oh, wait, I forgot a piece. Take those off here. We've got a shield, and I do recommend using the shield that goes on like so. Now let's see, where do I want that? I think I want it like, like that. Okay, oh. <clears throat> I'll put this up on end. So I'll slide that down. I think like that is a good spot for it. And there's an Allen. It did include the Allen head wrench to tighten that down. So I'll go ahead, snug that up. Okay, there we go. All right, let's try that out again. We'll put this piece back in place. Slide those two on, line it up, and there we go. And we'll tighten down our top piece. Not, not having used this before, I'm not sure how fast this thing, uh, this thing spins. I imagine if it's a grinder as its base, it's probably pretty quickly. And there we go. All right, so uh, one more thing I want to point out before we go on out is that it does actually come with a second set of brushes. There aren't many tool manufacturers who include brushes to um, you know, keep up with their tools. Like if, if this thing were to wear down, which eventually it will, you have the ability to uh, replace the brushes and go back to it. It does come with four altogether, three replacements plus the main unit. So that should get you through a fairly large project. I would imagine. And you can buy replacements. Um, Harbor Freight sells them. I'm sure Vavor sells them as well. This is, um, we have a trigger on this side. And it looks like 
yeah, you can hold it into place. Although I don't know if I would recommend doing that and just letting it go because then if it got away from you, it would definitely get away from you. All right. On the bottom it says burnishing polishing machine, 110 volts, 60 hertz, 1400 watts. So this thing puts puts a hurting on your power supply. Wheel size 120 millimeter by 100 millimeter. So if you need to re order replacements for that, that's what you're looking at. All right, so give me a second. I'm going to move the camera. I've got a piece of metal outside. We're going to hook this thing up and we'll see how well it takes the rust off of it. I'm excited to play with this thing. We're not going to test it out on the bus just in case it eats through metal. But, uh, I don't think so. From watching other videos on this tool, it's a pretty cool tool. Let's do it. All right, here is my piece of metal, and you can see we got some minor pitting, some major pitting, just overall an ugly piece of metal. Um, one more thing I noticed on the tool when I was getting it out here is that it has variable speed, 500 RPM at setting one all the way up to 3000 RPM, uh, which is a lot. But we're going to give it a shot here and see how it works. Hopefully, I don't send this thing flying into oblivion, but... All right, that's on setting one, which I think you can see there. We'll crank up the speed a little bit and see what we can do. This is setting three. Wow. Incredible. Let me bring that up close to the camera. It's incredible. So before and after there, outrageously awesome. That is just what I needed for working on the bus and just what you need if you're doing body work. We're trying to uh, descale some rust if you want to paint over something that's been, you know, rusted up or whatnot. This is, this is the way to go. Well, I guess that'll do it for today. It's the Bavor burnishing polishing tool it is perfect for body work and i'm definitely doing some on the bus till next time my friends take care